Hey, it's Samedi Like Spaghetti, and welcome back to our Let's Play Werewolf slash Unlucky Chef scenario. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apologize. New YouTuber alert. I got a new webcam, and I didn't realize that the mic went through the webcam. So my audio is going to not be as clear as you're hearing it now, but I promise I'm fi it's fixed by part four. So thank you as you are extending me grace and patience as I'm navigating um, becoming a simmer on YouTube. So let's play and see Sophia turn into the werewolf for the first time. Hi, it's Samedi Like Spaghetti, and we are going to do part three of our Let's Play Unlucky Werewolf. Um, Unlucky Chef Werewolf. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what Sophie, what Sophie's going to be doing. So last we let off, we got fit, and she has an insatiable hunger that's lasting for 38 more minutes. So let's see what she does. She's bored with that super loud. Wait, I thought she made something. Oh, it's in there. Let's resume our milk bread, which is one of the newer recipes from country living, cottage living. I know. Alright, so let's keep eating until she doesn't starve to death. Let's do that. Because remember, she's a vegetarian, so this is going to be interesting. I know. Uh, I've done like a couple playthroughs for Rebel Pack, and they can hunt for meat. I just don't know if. She can hunt for vegetables? Maybe? Mm. Oh my gosh, she's starving! I wish I had that kind of metabolism. Oh! Oh, it's, it's happening. Ooh, the transition. Oh! Okay, let's see what she looks like as a werewolf! Okay, so she has a lot of fur. Her coat is like a nicer color, darker color. Alright, out. So watch out, Sophia is transforming. Werewolf sims who reach Max Fury will erupt with rage and start rampaging. During this time, werewolves have very little control of themselves and will give into their beastly instincts. And then, let me move my face. That's her fury meter on the top. It's like, who's your anger? Um, and we have survival instincts. These sins seem to have an extra sense of danger, gaining additional fury while scared and tense. That's going to be interesting with the unlucky chef scenario because they haven't really come into play yet, but the unlucky chef, you're supposed to set yourself on fire more. So if she becomes tense more often, they're going to have an angry werewolf on her. So let's just check out all around. Look at the mail. All right, so she's enraged right now. And how long is that going to last? Three hours. And we cannot control her because she's a baby werewolf. So we have no skill. Oh, wait. Yes, we do. Ability points, too. Let's see. All right. Let's see what we want. We could do ferocity, wolf nap, territory marking, scavenger, or personal groomer. Hmm. Because I guess while they're in this world state, they can't use normal items to help their needs. So we should pick something strategically. I don't know. I think she should be a scavenger. Um, oh, we have two. So we can pick two. So let's pick one for scavenger. And then we can see what the end game is. Does she want to be an alpha? Hmm. She kind of wants to cure werewolfism to give people that choice. So let's, she's not going to scare people. I don't think that's her vibe. I really hard, I'm always bad at choices. Uh, we're just going to do grooming and we can come back and get more later. And these are our dormant abilities that you unlock the more you play. 
So we have werewolf empathy, we have lunar epiphany, and we can read werewolf-related literature. It's riddled throughout the town. We have werewolf mentorship. Okay, so she could be like a good friend werewolf. Cute. Werewolf menace, that's going to be more like the wild thing. Game. Diplomacy and then transformation mastery, which I believe you unlock after the first rampage or the first full moon. I'm not sure. All right, so she has the ability to scavenge and groom herself. That's nice. All right, so she's rampaging. We'll see what we're going to do about that. And you get points for doing werewolf stuff. So we'll see. Did she find it easy? No. Because, like, you can't click. Let's see what she can and can't do. Yeah, she can't eat right now. Not normal food. She can smash objects, but that costs money. She can scratch. Let's scratch. Look at that. It shows like tiny little scratch marks. I was expecting more like <gasps> scratch marks. So fluffy. So she's getting hungry, yet we don't have any means to hunt. So this is going to be interesting how we're going to procure food. I just keep digging the ground. Maybe she can find some food. Oh, she's transforming through the sink. Oh, good news, we've unlocked Transformation Mastery. She can now transform at will. So she can be a werewolf on the go whenever she wants. Free the werewolves. <laughs> Alright. Well, so now we are officially a werewolf. So that should accomplish our first task to become a werewolf. Now we need to focus on leveling up to runt experiencing our first full moon, and reading werewolf books. When does she start work? Oh, in two days. Thank goodness. Okay. She's good. We low on funds, but she's good. We also have the scare movement. She goes, what happened? Where am I? She's kind of confused. She's like, what did I do? I don't remember being a werewolf. So it's kind of interesting to see how she reacts to herself. Yeah, we can transform at will now. While we're human, let's do some human stuff. She had, so she had a nightmare about being watched silently by a very creepy doll. I didn't know they could get nightmares. That's terrifying. Do a savage food. Okay. Alright, so she's getting hungry again. Shocker. So let's make some breakfast. Because now she works, she still works for it in two days. Okay. Maybe something will happen with the cooking this time. Is it me or she doesn't seem that unlucky? Is it the. I did this scenario on a pre existing save, so maybe there's an issue with the coding there. And so far, she's cooked flawlessly. There's been no fires. Interesting. Oh. Did I eat vegetarian? Yeah, I did. Here, yeah, no, fun fact. Not had any fires yet. That's our next level werewolf. Level up to run. Which we'll do in part four. So, this has been Smitty. I'll see you next time.